Hey artists and art lovers, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. First of all, as always, I'm going to introduce you with my patrons of this month. Esra Art is my platinum art patron since August 19th. And Mr. Daniel Chung is my double platinum art patron since August 12th. I am thankful to all of my patrons and I will keep making these type of free YouTube tutorials for you guys. You can also visit this link to know more about my patron age and how this works. Anyways, I know you are excited about this tutorial. It's an easiest 4 step method tutorial and I really had an awesome time drawing this sliced apple. So without any further delay, let's get started. I'm gonna use these 3 types of pencils for this drawing. 5P for darker shades, 3B for medium shades, and B for lighter shades and outlines. So first of all, I'm going to darken this rough outline with a B pencil. As you might be aware that I draw these outlines using grid method or freehand in this case. You can download both the reference image and grid reference from my website. Link is in the description as always. Ok as we are done with this outlining, let's grab the same B pencil and fill this whole apple with a lighter shade, excluding these inner white areas. Now take a dry brush and blend these lighter shades smoothly. By the way, it's a synthetic watercolor brush of size 3x8. You can use whatever size you have but make sure to blend the graphite smoothly. Now grab your 3B pencil and add some darker shades around to make it a little bit more 3 dimensional. Blending the shades with a dry brush. Now 
Moving on to the second question, you can follow the same steps for this one. But now for this third one, you have to add a little bit darker shade here using 5P pencil. I'm using this same 3P pencil because I can control the darkness through pressure technique. Repeat the process for this fourth one. Now blending the shades in these remaining three portions. Now grab your 5P pencil and darken the shades in these marked areas. Now I'm going to use one of these smaller brushes and blend the shades slightly. Fill the stock with darker shade using a 5P pencil. Ok, let's erase these extra lines to get a clear workspace. Now I'm gonna use this mechanical pencil to shade the white portions. 
you can also use a sharp tip p pencil for this purpose i just love working with mechanical pencil now fill these white areas with some lightest possible shade and blend it smoothly with a clean brush. Repeat the same process for remaining two portions. Add a slightly darker shade near the edges to resemble the shadow of upper slices. Last portion will have a slightly darker shade because it has the shadow of upper two slices. Now let's add some shadow below this apple using a B pencil. darken the middle portion of the shadow using a 3B and 5P pencil respectively. Now the last and most important part is to add some white texture on this apple. So I'm gonna use a Tombow Mono Zero razor for this purpose. If you don't have one, you can make a replica of this razor at home. Click this i button here to watch the video. Or you can use an edit razor if you have one. Now fill this skin portion with some random white dots.
Now take a brush and lightly blend the textures in these darker areas. You can also highlight these white portions if you want. And here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment about your experience and if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Because I upload new content every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss another update from my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning, keep trying, and have a nice day.